It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. From another sweaty episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Mickey, how the devil are you? I'm good, mate. How you been? It's been a very hot week for me, as you can see. I'm, I'm red. I'm just melting every day, digging, I'm mowing, hiding. <clears throat> you what? I'm hiding. I'm hiding it by the light, but I am very burnt across my T zone. Let's call it. I am. Just, it's very humid today, isn't it? It's not hot. It's, it's not like direct sun today. It's quite humid. Yeah, it was cold this morning actually. When it started to rain, got to the cemetery, and uh, before half eight, it was quite chilly because it was raining. And I thought, oh, that's all right. But then it's like someone turned the switch on, and it's like it's muggy it's just, straight away. Straight, yeah. And, and it was, it went from, I think it went from in the car this morning. So I left the house at what ten o'clock, and it went from twenty three degrees right up to twenty eight within the hour. Yeah. And it was just like someone just turned on the oven. What's going on? Hey, people say global warming's a myth. We're living proof that we're in it. Mm. I've also heard reports that technically the the average temperature has not increased over the years. So, you know, depends where you where you get your facts, I suppose. Isn't it? I mean, I think no matter where you get your facts from, right? It's kind of you're only told what you're supposed to be told sort of thing. Yeah. So no matter what you read about global warming, you're only given the information that they want you to hear at the time if they want you to hear it. So the thing yeah. is, I am, as you know, I'm a fucking massive lover of climatology and weather. And oh, for me, yeah. It, yeah, I love it. That's honestly, well, growing up. Well, it's raining now. Job. It's just started to rain. So it, where dream, I am. Dream dream job for me was i wanted to be a climatologist have you seen day after tomorrow film mm-hmm. with jake gyllenhaal when everything freezes over it suddenly takes over new york and freezes he was that was the beginning of that was all about climate climatology in it and his Isn't it dad, funny that his dad that film come him. out that film come out and then global woman wasn't even talked about mm. you know it was when was it the 2012 2012 movie as well do you remember that yeah, that was awful. Well, it was all right until the last 45 minutes when it should have finished then. <laughs> it's just too long. But. but even so, like, people don't realise that I think this kind of temperature will start to be our new normal. Yeah. Well, good job i got aircon then, isn't it? <laughs> and, until- and, about half an hour ago, I saw, I got suckered into a TikTok purchase. It's, it's about this big, yeah. It's that round. It's not a deal, though. <laughs> it's got it's got a little fan on the top. It's got refrigeration mode. It's a handheld, oh. ice cold fan, and I could fucking do without work. No matter where I go, I'm sweating. I'm taking towels and changing two or three times a day because I am literally dripping. It's like ugh. it's awful. I've heard. Man. Have you heard about these towels that are in like a plastic container and they're just called the cooling towel? Uh, I, I've heard like of fl- the, I've heard of flannels, the little flannels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's it's like a little. It's, I've, the only way I can describe them is that they're in like a little blue screw cap container, and it's a cooling towel. And you take it out, and apparently it's instantly cold. You can buy bedding like it as well. So there's 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 one on TikTok at the moment which is sleeping, and basically, apparently it's supposed to. Don't know how it works. Don't know the science behind it. Don't know what it does, but basically it is supposed to keep you cool while you're sleeping. Ah. Didn't you have a pillow like that? Like a, a sheet you put over your pillow? Is that, yeah, is that but, a thing? Yeah, I had like a pillow insert. Um, yeah, that was it, yeah. Problem is with that sort of thing is, is eventually it just ends up damp. <laughs> you don't want a moist face, do you? <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, you just kind of got to deal with the damp bit then. Is that when it starts to wear off? Yeah, that's when the novelty kind of goes a bit. A bit sideways, mm. where you just think it's not fucking worth it. Fucking waking up in a fucking wet pillow. That's my rule. <laughs> I have, I have feather pillows as well. So if they end up wet. They just you can't wash them. No, 
Oh, hey. so I, you, just, you like shower them and put them in the shower and go, but shower gel and then leave them to dry. Yeah, I mean, I've tried. Hand wash. I've tried. They take ages to dry. They take because their feathers are all inside, and basically, when you wash them, all the feathers just go to one end. In the washing machine, yeah. Yeah, so it's like. Oh, that's, like, that's like puffer jackets I washed the puffer jacket once and it all went to this sleeve here so all the little grooves in it were all the puffy bits <laughs> it was gone out to bin it yeah yeah, yeah. you just there's nothing you can I'm do like, you just... I'm like fuck's sake <laughs> although you know at the end of the day I mean I, I think I, uh, normally a pillow will last me probably about six months and then I'll just find a new one that I like but I test out pillows I have to test them out mm. I'm going around the shop like just Lay down. Just testing out, testing out the pillows. It's just, <laughs> fucking, it's just humid. Like I've got every single fan going in the house. We've got handheld fans, big fans, little fans. Like they're everywhere, but they're just what, not doing anything. What about the the night time? How are you sleeping? Is it? <sighs> it's like I'm I'm not sleeping with anything like on me. And I mean, it, naked. It, used, it used to be a sh- no, no, I can't sleep. I still can't sleep. I can't. I don't think I could sleep. I don't think I could fall asleep naked. I used to, but I didn't like, really like it that much. Yeah, I think you sweat more, especially. I always wear a t shirt because you have something here. If you don't, mm. you sweat because it's skin on skin and the heat. It's weird. No, see, I sleep, I sleep in pants, but nothing else. That's it. Ah, okay. Full on. No. After that, he's just. Um, are you were having a coffee this time, Mickey boy. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll probably have two more as well. What? Before I go to bed, yeah. Why? Sure, I did. Two coffees before you go to bed. I've just had a monster as well. So after work, it don't, it don't affect me, mate. I told you, caffeine don't do nothing to me. How's I wish the it old did. Wanker's elbow. Oh, it's still fucked. Always still gonna sore. be fucked. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, on yesterday, we were digging a grave and we hadn't used the uh, the soil box next to the grave for the last three or four. We've had to, we've took the soil away and the trailer and the tractor. But this time, because of the location, we, we put the soil box in. And when you put the metal spikes in to keep the boards up, yeah. you have to use this like pneumatic stamper. It's about this big. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, do, 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 do. And it fucking weighs a ton. It must weigh 30 kilograms easy. And you have to lift it up to like above your head. And then it's like a little round bit like this. It goes over the metal spike and it goes like that. And it pushes it down and it, f- <laughs> yeah. And that, the vibration that was fucking, it was hurting me yesterday. And I haven't done that for about a month. Use that. So yesterday it's, oh, just fucked you over. Hmm. It's the Do you know what I just trying pass the job on to someone else be like yeah we do that mate <laughs> just, just no we, we so, no we're, we're a good team we work together and help each other so it's nice good yeah how's the car car's all right since the, since the old uh, brake issue <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah let's talk about that so last last week i was picking my son up from work because he's got a job now Woo. Woo. and uh, it was it was night time and I pulled in up into the car park, and do you know sometimes when your car sh- jolts like do 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 a little bit, some now and again. Well, like when you leave the engine on, you're not doing anything with the car. It's just sat there, it's and I looked up. Or... Yeah, I looked up at the dashboard, and there was a light on. It was like a in brackets and a line, and I'm like, okay. So I turned the engine off, turned it back on, and it was there again. And I thought, okay, fuck's sake. So what do you do? You go on Google, don't you? See what it is. And it says it's the uh, the warning light for brakes. I'm like, oh, it says you, your your car system, engine system, may not perform as well as it should do while this fault appears in your car. And I'm like, fuck's sake, it might drive home at 20 mile an hour. So I thought, I just can't get to a garage because of the hours I work. So I looked on and I thought, oh, they do brakes. So I booked it in for Saturday. Yeah, so like three, four days later. But it was all right. Um, now I already know this story. But I anyway. know, that's why I'm just laughing inside. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I get to park up, go inside, wait around for about five minutes. There's no one in there. Then some little bloke comes out and he goes, you all right, mate? 
I said, yeah, I said, I'm here for a brake check because he get a free brake check. I thought, oh, that's all right. That's good. And he goes, OK, I'll go get the manager. The manager then comes out and he goes, oh, you are, right, mate. What are you here for? I said, oh, just a, a brake check. I think there's an issue with my brakes. And he goes, OK, then. And he, he sort of made me think that there was an issue with fixing brakes on that day because maybe someone who specializes in that wasn't there. It's just the way he was talking. And he goes, what's the problem then? I said, oh, the warning light come on, on my dashboard for my brakes. I said, maybe the fluid needs topping up or something. He goes, okay. He said, he said when's, it, when's it on? I said, oh, when I take the handbrake off, it's fine. Like, it's not there and I drive. And then, <laughs> and then I put it on and it's, it's there. And he goes, okay, let's, let's, are you sure? I said, yeah. And he, he goes, oh, let's go have a look at your car. So I got, went to my car and... Uh, I got it out because it was quite <laughs> tightly parked. Fuck off. And uh, he got in it. He took the handbrake off, put it on. He goes, that's your handbrake light. I said, fuck off. He said, yeah, it's your handbrake light. Because you've got a good handbrake, actually. And he was doing this of it, sort of thing. And I'm like, really? And he said, yeah. I said, well, I've never noticed that. I said, look, I've owned this car for seven years. All the ones at work, the... In my old job all had a P in the middle, yeah, of this fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then the tractor at work has a P in the for the handbrake on that one. So all Mickey. the cars and I've been used to driving it says P on the fucking dash light. But the warning light fucking says on Google it's a brake fault. So I'm not that stupid. You've heard it shouldn't Google shit. I know. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Mickey, yeah. do you know what you've had? Do you know what you've had, don't you? A fucking senior you, moment. You've had a senior moment. <laughs> you've had a se- you've had you've had an old man moment of and going I thought, Oh I better go and get this looked at. <laughs> oh I love, wrong the, I love the way I'm always old and from fucking all creatures great and small or from some Yorkshire village. Oh, it, oh that's I Niles That's Niles offensive way of portraying old people they're all yorkshire farmers all right how can we do a southern one? all right me doc right better go and get this look at that's a bit, <laughs> that's a bit a down, so. yeah that's better if i lived on a farm but you know and um, but, but there was a, a a light at the end of the tunnel as it were the fact i didn't have to pay was brilliant i cancelled the appointment he goes oh no it's better that you know you turn up check it he said one woman had had her brake light on for such a long time that she'd adapted to braking and driving how to to coincide with this issue and he goes basically she had no brake pads or brake this left when 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 she came in and i'm he's like so please just come in even if it's stupid and i'm like okay cool do you remember my um do you remember my skoda yeah that had that had no brake pads at all it used, oh. You could hear it come, like, honestly, for, for months, six months, I rode on these brakes that went, ah! had to, and do you know what? My stopping distance had to go from, like, 100 metres to about half a mile, <laughs> just slowing down. Because I was like, I will go and get them done, but I just haven't got the time. Yeah. From Because that, at that point, I had a new, I had a newborn. I was, I was either at work or I was at home. So going mm. to the garage to get my brakes done just wasn't a priority at that point. And I wasn't driving. We had two cars. So I wasn't driving baby in that car. That was just I was going to say, yeah, it's not an issue. Just put the baby in the car that no, has no brakes. It's that fine. Was, that, was my, worry. That, was, that was my work car. It was literally just going <laughs> to and throwing from that same building that we both worked at. Where's daddy? Oh, he died because he didn't get his brakes fixed. Brakes. Okay. Gone, what a dickhead. <laughs> but today I had a flappy moment. So... In the, in the car so long story short short story long I went to the car wash that I've been to for years alright you know the one across across the road from Aldi on the Wellingbor Road in Northampton yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I've been there for years been going there for years and the, the same guy the same guy has owned it for years like really sound guy however I haven't been in a little while I went to my local one it's close to me Hmm. and anyway I thought I'm over that way today I'll go and get my car done went over went in everything seemed different the signs were different like all the people that worked there were different I'm not, like they had a burger van in the fucking thing 
Um, and I was like, what is going on? This this ain't, this, something's not right here. Anyway, yeah. got my, went round the back, got my, went, and I was like, normally it's the same guy that, you know, pre-washes your car. It's the same guy. I even say hello to him now. I've been there that many times. Right? And the manager's always, you know, proper, like, Albanian big guy. It's always the manager that's, like, telling all the lads off and making sure they do a good job. It wasn't him today. I was like, oh, oh shit. What's going on? So anyway, I just thought, fuck it. Anyway, they're doing my car, it's fine. Um, normally at the end, like, you know, they'll spray it and they'll put an air freshener in. None of that. I thought, do you know what, bollocks, I don't care. Until it comes to paying. And I got, went to pay, so I was finished, got my phone out, and he said, oh, we don't take card no more. I was like, you've always taken card. He was like, no, no, past two weeks, we don't, we don't take card anymore. I was like, oh. I was like, well, I'm going to be honest with you, mate. I'm going to cash for me. And I said, where am I going to get cash from? I said, because I, I have a bank card. I said, I've literally got my phone. That is it. I have my phone. I didn't, have, I didn't No, I don't even take my wallet out anymore because I don't fucking need it. That's the problem with today, but carry on. Right, so <laughs> I leapt in the car, right? Looked in the car. He, 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 he just said, go, come back, drop it, drop it back. And I was like, okay, Sam. Anyway. Looked in the car, four bank cards. I thought, ah, oh, bro, it's four bank cards. Here, one of them will work. <laughs> all expired. That's why they're in there. All expired cards, all old cards for four different bank accounts. All of them expired in the center in the center console. I thought, fuck, say, what am I going to do? So I went to the shop across the road. You know, the crossroad from the trumpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went in there. Up. Went in there, clean face. Excuse me, can you help me? Like, I just want my car washed. Can I get some cash back? Nope. You can go Audi though, they do cash back. Right? So I went to Audi, went to the self service. Excuse me, can I get cash back? Still? No, no, you have to queue up. Massive long queue. I waited for four people's big shop to go through just to <laughs> attempt to get cash back. Right? So I thought, well, I've got to buy some. So I just grabbed two bottles of Coke Zero out of the uh, free, out of the fridge, took yeah. it to the front. I said, oh, can, can I get cash back? Yeah, you can get cash back. You know, scan them through. Went to get my phone out. No, no, we can't do cash back on your phone. You have to have a card to get cash back. Yeah. I was like, fuck's sake. And then I said, <laughs> oh, I'll leave. I said, oh, I'll leave it then. Anyway, the old bloke behind me said to me, oh, I'll buy these for you if you want. If you, if you need them, I'll buy them for you. I said, no, no, I don't need them. I said, I'm, I'm trying to get cash back. I thought I had to buy some to get cash back. Are you sure? I'll buy them for you. Oh. I said, mate, honestly, it's not like I don't need the money. It's not like that. I just I'm trying to get cash back from my card that's on my phone. You sure I, I can buy these drinks for you? I was like, mate, honestly, really appreciate <laughs> it, but I'm not that guy. Like, you don't need to buy it for me. So, like, look at fucking had a pauper moment in Aldi, trying to be as polite as possible, saying, I don't need them. Just need to fucking get cash back. Um, so I was like, right, come out of come out of Aldi, and I'm just flapping at this point. I was like, right. I'm 25 minutes from home, so I've either got to go home, get my bank card, come back, and that's going to take me about an hour. Or, you know, and he's going to think I've done a runner. So I thought, right, I'll drive up to another shop. I went to another shop on, I don't know, what is it, like Booth Lane South? I don't know, what, like Birchfield Road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know like yeah. all the shops on Birchfield yeah. Road? Yeah, where we serve chippy in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, well, that's there's a, a shop there. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, further down, further down, you know, like... Is there another towards, Yeah, near Abington, more towards Abington. Oh, yeah, tell like, me, the, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah, that, so yeah, I, went, yeah. I went into the first shop, which was a Nisa. Um, you are mate, can I get cash back? No, no, can I get cash back? I said, mate, you can charge me for it. No, no, we can't do it. Fine, co-op. Can I get cash back? Yeah, you can get cash back. Okay, I'll buy some of it. No, no, you need your card. And then I've seen the Premier... And it said post office. I was like, fucking post office. They've got to do cash back. Like, it's easy to get money from the post office. Just got to scan. Yeah, have a like, gun. <laughs> and I, I literally went in there and I was like, excuse me. Just got my car washed. I'm about half an hour away from home. I need cash to pay the car wash. Can I get cash back? No. <laughs> oh, no. My face just was like, oh, fuck's sake. And the woman said, oh, but we can do it at the till, but we'll have to charge it. I said, you can charge whatever you want. I just need 20 quid cash back 
to pay the car wash. <laughs> so she charged me two quid to get 20 quid back. I eventually did it. Bearing in mind, I'd been running around for about 45 minutes trying to get all the, trying to get 20 quid. Went back to the car wash. I was only like two minutes from the car wash. Went back and he was just, the guy was just sat there eating his lunch from the burger van. Thank you, fuck. <laughs> came back in with pride like, got it, got the 20. <laughs> like we were both going to look at each other and go, got hey. it. <laughs> he, he literally just came up to me and was like, cheers. And I was like, oh, no like, no medal for that. Nothing. Mm. The, the fact that you've stopped doing card for some strange reason that you've been doing card and now all of a sudden you're a cash service just like my barber shop used to do card now my barber shop's been cash now for about like fucking six months what is people people going back to cash they have to because certain places have been the system's been crashing isn't it mm. lately the last couple of weeks i've seen loads online saying oh you can't we ha we only accept cash today and it's like normally you are you are cashless there's a few restaurants mm. around cafes and that that a card only and i think that's shocking especially the he's, small bit the small businesses need the he cash. said that's what he said he said it cost us too much to have a card system yeah but i'm not he surprised said, he said like because we because we do lots of small transactions of like 10 pound and 20 pound he said it cost us we, he said we lose pretty much half of it yeah. and i was like okay well that's fair enough i said well, next time i come i'll make sure i've got a bank card or cash it's like so now, 30 percent isn't it Something like that. So I was like, for fuck's sake. But the flapping bit in me, like, bearing in mind, that all sounds, me telling the story sounds like, you know, oh, he ran around a little bit. No, I was full on fucking flapping. I was fucking, I was like, fuck. Every shop I came into, fuck. Like, I must have looked so desperate. And including the old bloke who tried to offer me two bottles of Coke. I didn't need them. It was just, oh, it was just a bad time. What and you it, should have done, you should have found somebody at the till, and if their shopping come to about 20 quid, say, I'll pay for that on my card, you give me cash. <laughs> Could have worked something that way. I know, but then I but, would have looked even weirder. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I, would like, I would look like a junkie at that point. You know, <laughs> fucking, just need 20 quid. <laughs> but yeah, oh God, what a flappy moment, man. Yeah. And then, yeah, what else, what else have I been doing? I don't know, should I finish my story now? Go on, finish your story. Fucking hell, I'm back at the garage, yeah? <laughs> You're back at the garage? I'm back at the garage. I haven't finished the story. As you know, the second part of the story. Mm. Don't you? Yeah, mm. fucking hell. That's the good bit. The car bit's fucking shit. The fact I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but yeah, I had my yellow Dad's Lads and Kebabs t-shirt on. And as we were f just chatting at my car, he said, what's that? I said, oh, it's a podcast. He said, is that you? I said, yeah. I said, me and my mate do it. I said, we, we talk about guy stuff, all things men related and things from what like, we see in the world and from a, like, a man's point of view. He goes, oh, I think I really need something like that at the moment. But yeah, he said that he's been having real bad struggles lately and he's really down and you know he needs something to like get him through it. And I said, yeah, I said, we're perfect for that. <laughs> I said, we just chat shit. Absolutely. And, and we'll we'll help you through. And we've got many episodes all about different things, about men and the struggles we go through. And I said, I said, you'll you hopefully enjoy it and it might help you in some way. And he goes, oh, I really, really need that at the moment. I think that's exactly what I need. And I thought, wow. So back on four days ago, when I was having my stupid moment, at night time, 11 o'clock at night in a car park, God shined down on me and said, look, you're going to be stupid for a little bit because there's a man in a few days that's going to need your help. And they just set the wheels in motion. And I think that's fucking amazing. That's the only thing that I got out of it apart from making you laugh. The only thing that come out of it that was anything positive, apart from my stupidity. That you met somebody. You met somebody. <laughs> met somebody that is going to need help. That need was in need of help, and didn't know where to get it. And maybe our podcast is going to help him. And I think that's fucking amazing. Well, let's so call him. Let's call him Garage Man. Let's call Garage him. Man. So, if you're listening, Garage Man. Cheers, man. I hope 
I hope you get something out of our podcast. Lots of episodes. Go have a look. See what. If you do find us, reach out to us. Yeah, reach out to us because yeah, you know. we'd love to chat to you. Yeah, and cause... talk about whatever. Yeah, I thought that's fucking the good, the bad, and the ugly on our show, people. You, you get it all. That's fucking brilliant. So you know, I, I, I really thought, wow, mm-hmm. you know, you have them moments that just stop you and think, fuck me. So hopefully, you know, we can help someone, at least one person. You know, then we've done our job. So, but yeah, I'm really happy Good. about that. Yeah. Well, I'm Positive. glad. Like, if you if you do find our show, Garage Man, give us a Garage. shout. Yeah. We'll send we'll send you a mug to uh, keep in the keep in the uh, garage and. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Give us a listen, mate. Yeah. Let us know. We've got some mugs over there. Deuces. There's one there, and there's one there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good, though. Yeah. Positive. Positive, yeah. There's the world that... needs a bit of positivity at the moment. Our country needs fucking positivity at the moment. It's it's just awful. I mean, it's not even not even worth talking about, to be fair, because I I, I just yeah I it's quite it's really quite saddening, really, isn't it? A lot of th- I know I don't just I think you can't even just put it on one thing. I mean, the past few weeks have been just yeah. diabolical in terms of and i mean I, all sorts not just one you can't pinpoint it you know you you could go from you could go from the southport attack to it was south end yesterday was it south end? South, south end yeah the machete riot yeah, the machete thing and then big, there was big fights in the street two blokes in the suitcase at bristol that guy yeah there was uh um, switch there was a bloke bloke got st- chased in a park and got stabbed i've seen that video. yeah i've seen i've seen that yeah on it's not even just that and then and then the you get riots the, and then you, yeah and then i mean two lots fuck. of riots three did you see the uh i like, watched it rochdale riots at yeah. the police station yeah and then the, did you see the um the just oil activists spraying Heathrow terminal one they went inside Full on sprayed it everywhere. I'll have to ask two people I know that work there and see if they heard um, anything or witnessed anything. Fucking idiot! Like that in itself, right? Like, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't, you know, protest, protest wherever you want. You know what I mean? That's that's the whole point of protest is you, you putting your opinion across. But the fact is, right, going into an airport terminal and doing something like that, like if you did that in an airport. Other other countries, they would see that as an act of terror. Yeah. Like, bear in mind, like most airports are, you know, walking. You've got armed guards everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, yeah. It's All the fucking corners. airport. Yeah. Right. You're going in there with a canister full of liquid that nobody knows what it is and spraying. Mm. Like, there was a chemical attack. There was a chemical attack uh, in um. Where were we? today? There was no yesterday. There was a chemical. There was a bag left in public and apparently a lot of uh, where the fuck was it anyway yeah there was a chemical thing today it'll come to me yeah. and it's like what is going on well a lot of them just oil people they should all be in prison anyway and a lot of them are ended up in prison now we're talking yeah, the, fucking the m25 finally... lot they're getting yeah. they're comeuppance aren't they yeah so it's just, i don't know like it's just there's so it's... much going on and it's like it's depressing no one At, the problem is is it just gets swept very quickly because another it fit, thing happens it fits an agenda now I, i'm not going to go into detail but mm. just look at the riots there was one lot of riots and a second lot of riots one of them the police ran the other ones they arrest a defenseless fucking woman and tried to beat shit out of everybody and it's this that's what they would say two-tier policing in this country and all week it's been exactly the same that they've just shown I mean, it you know it's just it's one of them things that you don't like you could never say the right thing you could never say the right thing and for me yeah i think the only thing my only opinion is the fact that like everything that's going on develops the world that we're living in do you know what i mean like mm. you you'll have divide and conquer for the rest of our lives you've got you you've got it you people would see what's going on at the moment as a small scale but then 
you know, if you look at what's going on in fucking Russia and Ukraine and what well, that could potentially happen, especially with the new government and how we could be involved in that. And, and like, Israel and Iran. Yeah, it's like... That's kicked off this week as well. It's like, fuck where, where's, where's the fucking... Where's the normal shit? Where's the... Do you know what it is? Do you know what the problem is? It's there's no religion anymore. Well, there is, but like for the normal, say me and you, normal normality. Like we're we're law abiding. We we try and do everything the correct way. We work. We have kids. We support family. Blah blah. But a lot of people don't do that. And whether whatever your colour you are, the faith is gone. And I think. That sort but of I don't even, the, I don't the morals. I don't, no, I, I think that's, yeah, because people I, get their I morals. I think that's just from like religion. you said, moral code. Moral code. Yeah, there no, is no, no, no moral code. Like, put religion to a side. It's like second. Forget whatever religion, race, creed you are. Hmm. Like, just moral code. Just, just being a decent human being. That's it. Take it. Just take hmm. everything else away. What is wrong with people just going? Do you know what? We've got a few issues. We need to level it out. You know. Russia will be like, listen, we'll sell our gas for this much. All right, we'll feel like we're being robbed. You know, we'll do this. We'll do... Like, why has the world got to a point where it's like, let's just sit down and talk about this rather than, you know, let's just show it. Let's just show each other how big our dick is. You know what I mean? Like, that's like it's just fucking big dick energy in it. It's just like my dick's bigger than yours, kind of shit. Mm. Like, no one's, no one wants. The thing is, meanwhile, you've got the people that go, I just want to live a normal life. I just want to get through this and fucking have a holiday once a year or, you know, wait for Christmas to come along or let's just be normal or let's just, why is it, why has it got to be conflict? Because conflict is every fucking mm. day. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're getting a pay rise, you pay more tax. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to fucking charge you more on this, right? You, this will cost you this much. You know, your food shop used to get you this much food. Now we're going to get you this much. Like, whether it's inflation, whether it's fucking, you know, whether it's financial fucking mental, it's torture. It is fucking torture. And I'm telling you now, if this, if, if there isn't a heaven and this is what we get, you should get a fucking medal when you die. Just from fucking pass and go. Now, this is hell, mate. That's what they say. Spirit world is heaven. Oh, yeah. Oh, and earth, earth is hell because it I is think, hell. I think earth is purgatory through and through I feel like it's a test mm. you are being tested through and through on a daily fucking, basis yeah yeah and how much you can survive because it is people think it's not but life is full of survival instinct you know how can you get through this and people think you know you can talk about survival on so many different scales but seriously we've both made 20 quid last a week do you know what I mean like yeah. whether it's the, whether it's financial or even mental, you've been broken. Both of us have been in, in a position of being just completely utter shattered and thinking, "How the fuck are we going to carry on?" That survival. Hmm. This, I feel sorry for you, if you're bringing your kid up in this world, in this country at the moment, because it, you know, and I'm going to be a granddad, and my grand my granddaughter is going to be brought up in a world that she could be walking down the street and get stabbed you know she could get kidnapped she could get her mum could my daughter could be fucking killed and it's fucking awful there's no there's no deterrent at all in this country at the moment for anything you do wrong it's fuck all and our fucking prime minister i'm going hard now our prime minister is a fucking wet cabbage he is fucking pathetic Bring back Richie Sunak. Everybody that voted Labour, fucking shame on you. Because you are you brought in people that are going to fucking ruin our country. And most people are going to fucking leave. They'll all be going to Spain. Trying to do the, the fucking... I, I spoke to someone in Spain the other day, yeah? Wow, what a country. They run the country fucking shit hot. And I'm jealous at the moment. You know, old Spenny boy. He told me what it's like there. And it's fucking very good. There's rules. They stick to them. If you don't like it, there you go. This is sorted. You know, not this. Like, oh, do what you want. Fucking kill everybody. Let's attack everybody. And it's fine. And our fucking prime minister saying, oh, if you riot, then you're going to be in trouble. 
It's like, what about all the kids being killed? What about everyone being attacked? What the fuck? He has got no fucking clue what he's doing. I don't. He ain't going to last a year, I don't think. He's a fucking wet wipe. I he's so the bad. Shock, the shocking part of it is the fact that he's not saying anything. No, he's like, not. That's the problem. He went He went to... I mean, the, I, I, I get it. He, he went to the vigil and, and, and people seen it as a complete... He did it as a photo campaign. And I, 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 I get that. I, and I do get that. I get that. Of course he did. He yeah. did that. He did that to shed light. What he thought he would achieve from it, I don't think was, you know, what he was necessarily going to get. People are... And just, I think, just put it all... The thing is, you've got to peel this back for what it really is. And I think, and I think you've got to take it back is that children were attacked no matter who by no matter what they are where they are where they're from yeah. forget that children and it's happened several times yeah. it, when it's you know children involved and all he cares about is people rioting doesn't even mention do not attack it's, children it's pathetic it's, i just i just feel i, I just you got to think about them families and you got to think exactly and, and and especially at the time of year is that many parents are sending children to holiday clubs, to fucking classes, to yeah. days out, day trips, to theme parks, to parks, water parks, or anywhere, right? And I think in the back of your mind now, you have to... And those poor parents, I can't even put into words. I can't I even think how... It's quite how, close to your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your you circumstances, just, you, I'd say. You just, you just can't fathom how how they're functioning. Because me, I'd, I'd be, it. I'd be done. Like, and I just, and I don't, like, I don't know how, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. But no. these are kids. These are fucking kids. Like, mm. what's wrong with you know? You do that, and you go and you want to go and attack someone. Go and pick a fight. Do you know what I mean? I like pick a fight equal size, equal measure. Somebody that wants to fight you, right? Don't do something that you feel that, that you like. What does it make you? What what status? What fucking? I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. No matter what's going on behind it, I don't get it. And, and I'm sorry. Stop fucking blaming it on fucking mental illness. Stop it. That's stop easy. That. It. Because they're doing it too many times. They're like, like the soldier, the soldier times. that was attacked outside the barracks last week. Yeah, that, that right. bloke. It, it, oh, he's got he's got mental health. So I know loads of people that have mental health issues. They're on tablets and everything. They don't go around stabbing children. I'm sorry, it's fucking it, bullshit. It's it's just that thing, like again, like m my opinion is mine. I don't have an opinion on fucking any of it, really. I just I more find the fact that children are involved and mm. uh, this is happening and you know you're only going to be told anything about any of these individuals you're only going to be told what you're what they want you to hear so oh exactly whether, yeah like and whatever will happen and if they're charged and whatever's going on and if their fucking identity's hidden and all that shit like you'll only be told what you're supposed to be told that is it leave it at that like you're not going to find out anything that you know you're not supposed to find out but no. These are just kids. These are defenseless kids. They should get. Like, they should get the death penalty. They should bring that back for people that do I, stuff I, like I just, that. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't like. And again, not even just that one scenario. All these other attacks. The fucking, you've got kids fucking running around with machetes. Who's dealing with that? Who's dealing with the fact that you've got kids being able to have access to these kind of things? Well, the police ain't like, doing they're, they're running away. Like, it's summer, and I know in summer, in a lot of areas, especially deprived areas, is summer is kind of, you know... Hard. It's, it's kind, yeah, it, it, it's kind of... People are hot, people are bored, they will get into trouble, especially with the youth. Like, you know... Fuck me, when I was a kid, like... The most I was on a bike! Yeah. The most You're stabbing trouble. people? Fuck we used me. To fucking, we used to steal fucking apples. I fucking remember. We used to steal apples from a fucking farmer's orchard. I remember that. Fucking and have crab apple fights and shit. Like I remember. Fuck me. We smashed a window once. We smashed a shed window. Fuck me. That shit was yourself. 
yeah, that, that was kind of like, I went home and fucking tried to fucking, like, stay in for the rest of the summer because we smashed the window. Do you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Like, yeah. what's going on? You can't. Like, I just can't. I can't get in by, into fucking all of it because it's just, I don't have an opinion. I, I, I just, I just I have a very sorry. strong opinion. But it just, just feel, it just winds me up. It makes me it's so washed, angry. It's what it used to. It used to be in me. It used to be in me to you know. Yeah. But I ju- I just I, just, I think now as a parent I just feel like. What's 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 the normal now? What's normal? Being scared. You know, what's, being oh, worried. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. the normal. Like track your I mean, kids, yeah. people. Get yeah, trackers on the ago. phones. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I I I couldn't fathom. Or even think about, like, yeah, ever letting my kids play out. Never at the Could moment. Be, fucking no. no. Not in a fucking million years. Not in a million years. It will not happen. You know, I couldn't think about the fact, of, you know, m- my kids having any form of social media. I want it, honestly, I want it banned by the time of their age. I, anything. I don't. And that is for me is going to turn me into the fucking arsehole dad. Because mm. I will be. That's the thing. You'll be seen as that. You stop yeah. going out because you, you you fear for them. You know. You fucking monitor and everything where they are, what they're doing, and then you you, you your paranoia sets in because mm. you're fucking you're worrying for your kids. Like, and then it's like you're an arsehole for doing that. So no, no no I just do you know what I mean like fucking shepherd protects his flock sort of shit yeah. what what's you know what do you do otherwise I don't know you're a, it's so fucking difficult like and again still trying to live a normal life because the thing is I've blocked it out now I'm blocking out the news I can't be fucking doing with it like it and I think I feel like TikTok's such a fucking negative world of it because half of it is bullshit in fact 99 percent of it is bullshit none of it's yeah. true like even when even when people are live streaming whether they're at these places like they're only putting their narrative across that's mm. what it is you know you're not going to be told anything unless it's you should be told it i just feel i i understand people's anger i understand people protesting i get it because you're you're angry, but then you've got other people just looking for a fight. That's not even their fight. They're just looking for a fight. Mm. And it's it's like what jumping on the bandwagon. Oh yeah, yeah. and what? it's a classic scenario. You can you could be. I, I think that's why prime minister is fucking such a fucking like you're either loved or hated within a minute. Do you know what I mean? You can do something so people love you. But you can do something and they'll fucking hate you for it for the rest of your fucking term. Four weeks and he's already the worst prime minister we've had for fucking years. But I, I just, I, again, I just feel like he was a, he was one of them prime ministers that went into the job with, he had a full, full fucking manifesto of everything that he was going to do. And then it's kind of all falling at the wayside. And everything mm. will fall into priority and into financial priority. Mm. As in, what what's gonna what's gonna raise our capital more? Yeah, but look what he's than, doing. He's sending so much money abroad to all these other countries and not sorting our own country out. That's another major thing he's where doing. Where does the money come from? Do you think? Ah, t- fucking tax. Tax like, price to go up. He's got to pay for fucking hotels and he's got to pay for all these other countries in the world that he's sending aid to, which is fair enough, but don't keep sending more. Our country is broken. Britain is officially falling down and we need help. We need a prime minister that's going to stick up for us. We need a fucking Churchill, I tell you. Who's going to fucking fight the fight for our country, be proud of our country. But we ain't got that. We need Trump over here. Fucking hell. Do you think he's going to get back in? Oh, 100%. 100%. I think it's a signed, sealed, delivered deal, man. It is now, especially with Biden. Yeah, last time we spoke, we said about Obama telling him not to run. And then he and just... Then like, he, he, he quit. I reckon he, he's... Some people I've reckon he's him. dead. <laughs> Biden he's, died weeks he, ago. But no, I reckon he's full on. 
full on sort yeah. of he needs looking after now, bless him. Because I and saw. That's, that's like, fair enough. Yeah, he's you he's can't knock him for that. Do you know, no, what he's I mean? in his eighties, like, isn't he? And you know, Trump's not far. Do you know what I mean in terms of age? Like, no, he's it, he's like seventy three or something, isn't he? But you know, I get. I guess. But then, fuck me. We're discussing politics for fuck's sake. You know, it's all the half, boring half shit. Half heart. It's the most important thing at the moment, though. That's what. That's all you see on the news. Everywhere is bad, depressing stuff, which is all tied into politics, unfortunately. Bad um, politics. Bad politics. Yeah, not even good politics. Politics. <laughs> has there ever been? Has there ever been a good politics? Has there really ever been a good politics? I don't know. Has any? Like, there's no. Do you know when people say there's no such thing as a good deal? The fucking isn't. There is no such thing as a good deal. Yeah, don't know. But fuck knows. No, we're, we're all fucked fuck anyway. <laughs> like people are scared. You'll never, you'll never yeah. win. You'll never, you'll never be fucking. You'll never be just not like go. Fuck me, my rent's paid. I've got a holiday paid for. Bought a few Christmas presents. Doing all right. Got yeah. food in the fridge. Cars fucking got half a tank. Do you know what I mean? If you was ever all those things, you'd be fucking winning. But I'll tell you what, that I think that's why, do you know what? Put all the bullshit aside. Put every negative piece of shit in a box and just shove it away. Do you know what I mean? If you are eating tonight and you have got some petrol in your tank and you, and you have got fucking 100 quid in the bank, take the little things of any of those things. Don't have all of them. But just fucking think. Do you know what? victories. Hey, yeah, yeah. Take the win. Take the small victories. I always say small victories. Because that's what keeps you going every day. Honestly. Mm. It isn't the big shit. It isn't the it isn't the shit that's supposed to put you down. It isn't the shit that you've got a fucking, you know, fucking heating bill coming your way within the next six months. So it could be like, worse. You could be old and not get your winter heating allowance. You know, oh, they've yeah, just yeah. taken off. They've just taken that off old people. Just fucking disgusting. Another thing, Labour government. Well done. Take it off. Man. Let the old people was, die. Fucking freeze. That was to death. that was number one though. You know, you know, he's nothing for the elderly. They they, they are complete elderly, robber. No. They, they yeah. Winter winter heating allowance. Can you imagine that? Winter heating allowance for the elderly. For old people, and you're, and you're pulling it. You're literally pulling it. Just imagine going round to your nan's house and nicking a duvet. Do you know what I mean? That because that is what you're doing. Yeah. Middle of winter, you go round and go. I'm having your duvet because I'm cold. You don't need it. Yeah, you don't matter. <sighs> hmm. What let us say? know, people. We'll let us know in the comments oh, what you think. You how, and none, yeah. like I said, people, none of this, none of this is is out there to display any form of negativity or any form of fucking no. biased opinion or anything. This is just this is two people, and we don't always, we definitely, me and Mickey don't always see eye to eye when it comes to opinions because we don't. No. But he likes Starbucks. Like, I like Costa. <laughs> so there you go. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like there is, there is going to be that scenario, but honestly, like. What what do you say to any of the shit that's going on? To any of the shit that's to come? I always think as well. It's like what what what's the world going to be like? That my thing is six months. What will it be like in six months? I don't. I'm worried about a fucking that. year, let alone uh, a week, let alone six months. What I guarantee you, within the next time we film, someone else has been stabbed. Oh, that's is it, fucking it, sad and pathetic. But it's almost a guarantee at the moment. It's so, it's something like three people are stabbed a day. Eh? Anyway, three people stuff. No, no, but I mean, like, major ones in, like, the people are filming yeah. in shopping centres and in parks. You know, you understand it on little council estates where there's issues with gangs or whatever. That's not right, but, you know, it's it's what happens. But to have it in shopping centres and, and nurseries and... It's just so scary at the moment. And that's... It's that's they're that the things. Is, they're the things that are being highlighted, and I, I, I they I need think, to stop. I think that's that's what takes it back. Right, you take it, you strip it all the way back to the original course of, like, 
kids going to a music class. Kids mm-hmm. going to fucking music class. Like some parents probably got some parents were probably stressed to get their kids there. Do you know what I mean? Like thought yeah. of going, Right, I'll get you there, you'll do this for an hour. Do you know what I mean? Like stressed. First week in the summer holiday. That is fucking heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Like mm-hmm. it's, you know, you, you how no matter how fucking how do you comprehend any of that and just think because you don't know, you don't know where you live, what's going on, like, or what's happening, or fucking, you don't know, you know, what's going to happen. Things happen everywhere. It doesn't like people always talk about, oh, it's that area, or you know, it's that demographic, or it's this going. It's not. It can happen anywhere, any time. Mm. You're just these people, people. You know, how many people have you know been involved in stuff? It's like I wasn't even going to go there. You were just there. That's all it was. Mm. You were just there, and I think I don't know, but because I mean, look at America. Like, kid, they said like we discussed this months ago about kids going to school with bulletproof backpacks and stuff. Like, it's just the same. It's just the same. Like, it's, these are kids mm. with nothing, in no malice in their hearts whatsoever, and I just don't understand it. I just don't get it. And I think that's the most upsetting part for me is the fact that I just don't understand why anyone would fucking want to fucking do that to innocent kids. And why the why the world doesn't stand still for a second and go, hold on a second. Yeah. We need to fucking check yourself. This should have been the wake up call for our country, that. It's not, it's the world. It's not, it's... It's, it's, it's yeah, everywhere. but people in Poland don't care about our kids. People in Zimbabwe don't care what's happening in fucking Liverpool. No, I know, but I think as as humanity, I think like there should be something that says, "Hold on a second, world. We are definitely so close to World War Three. It's coming. You know, we're going to have that party. Don't worry about that. We've already got the we've already got the cake. We're going to have that one. Right, but." Let's just fucking, let's just have a chat for a second and go, let's look at what's going on around us and let's Mm. see what we can do to stop it. No matter what it is, let's see what we can try and do to make things better in this world. Whether it's, you know, let's focus on global warming and fucking put down the fucking knives for a second. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's the bad shit. That's not even the fucking, that's the big shit. I think it's like, it's a little shit as well that gets you every day yeah. crazy I don't know I don't know maybe next week we'll have a positive outcome f- positive this outcome show, f- from from the uh, the world we live in hey next week we'll discuss my holiday yeah and, we'll- and my holiday and your holiday maybe maybe we'll what we'll do is we'll we'll put this. Have we still got one in the tank? No. Have we still got one in the chamber? No. This will have to go out, people. You're going to get the negative week. If you're yeah. listening, no, it's important. It's in, it's no. important for people to listen, understand. Oh, so. absolutely, absolutely. Because that's what all they all journalists. they're doing. They're they're ringing their friends. Did you see what happened? They're they're in cafes. They're in at work discussing everything we've discussed. Probably a similar opinions mm. maybe not maybe some so it's we're just two idiots I feel like, chatting i feel, I feel <laughs> like we're discussing it though we're just like i don't share anything i'm not a social media person anymore i don't mickey or terry or i have yeah i haven't i haven't even updated a photo within three years so mm. people if you think niles really attractive he's not come see the videos He's not. <laughs> Those pictures are old. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I, yeah, I uh, yeah. For me, I don't put things out there. I don't share a post. I don't fucking like a thing. I don't do anything because I haven't got time for it. I haven't got time for any of that stuff. When it, when it, whether it's just whether it's journalism or I think TikTok is technically classed as journalism now in a way that people are posting stuff and false journalism. TikTok technically the sun. Do you know what I mean? 
The scum. Yeah, no one, no one fucking reads that shit. Fucking rag of a newspaper. Do you know what I mean? TikTok is probably the sun. Full of bullshit. None of it's real. And if you do believe it, then you're reading the Mystic Med Cat column in the back. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <clears throat> Me. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna. It's about as true as that. Your fucking star sign in the back of the sun. I used to read that all the time. I'd be like, "What are you reading this bollocks for? <laughs> <laughs> fucking dickhead!" <laughs> you, oh, guys, what an episode to come back into a lovely week. It's the lovely hot British weather. Isn't it? You had a barbecue. Oh, it's a barbecue today. Had a barbecue. Oh, yeah. Had a barbecue burger without the bread. So I had coleslaw, a couple of burgers, a piece of chicken. Had the cheese, had the onions, had the tomato. It was alright. Without the bread, it was fine. Yeah, it's had, a, had, a, had a burger, had a burger like this. Just picked the burger up with everything on it. Just ate it without the bread. Oh wow! The only, it was nice. I had a bar. I, I haven't been to a barbecue in years. Yeah, last time we spoke, I hadn't even. I've had two weigh-ins since the last time we spoke. I'm down in You're the eighty. Right. I'm in the 80 kilograms now, Niall. You're in the 80 that. kilograms? That's I'm my the, goal. I'm, yeah, in the, I'm in the 80s. 80s. I, went, I went from 98 to 89. So I've lost 20 pounds so far. So what's that? 9 kilograms you've lost? 8 point something, yeah. 8 point something. Fucking well happy, mate. I'm well I'm happy. I'm 85 is my target. So I've Yeah, that's got my target. 85 is my target, so I've got... What's that? I'm, I'm 96 now, so what? Got fucking 11 to go. But mm. I've lost this week. I haven't weighed myself, weighed myself on Sundays. Ah, yeah. When you gave up sugar, did you get headaches a lot? No. I had, first couple of days, I had some really awful headaches. No, no sugar whatsoever. That's withdrawal. That's why. So, I had some proper bad headaches. Um, I tell you what, though, I'm not hungry. It's funny that, isn't it? Like, I'm not even thinking it's about good. snacks. I'm not. Yeah. Like first week, I was necking loads of water. Like I'm not doing it so much anymore. The toothpicks are helpful because I have them when I fancy something flavourable. But I'm not. Do you know? I'm not looking for it. Like before, I was looking for something. I was like, I was going. Oh, maybe you need to fucking do this or do that and I was basically just doing housework to consume cravings yeah, yeah. whereas now I'm like oh I can chill out now I can stop for a minute mm. maybe it's the heat as well maybe the heat's good and like I can go hungry for longer so this morning I was hungry when I woke up I was like oh I'm hungry and I said right I've got this to do and then went swimming uh, fucking what's that one o'clock so I didn't actually eat anything until about half two before the car wash scenario. Yeah. So I ate, I ate before then, and then I haven't eaten, ate, I haven't ate since, and I'm fine. It's there weird. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a positive, and I'm happy with it. I think like I'm trying to be less stressful as well. I feel like stress has a massive impact on your motivation to keep going. Yeah, it's it. If you're not in the right mindset, then uh, yeah, it's an issue. You, you and could you break it. You could easily you throw it. Yeah, you could throw yeah. it out the window and go, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna have this." But I treat this like I treat treat smoking. For me, it was like I could never go back, and I could easily go back and do it. I could easily, you know, first one will be horrible, second one will be still a bit horrible, the third one it'll be like I've never left. Hmm. But I wouldn't ever quit. I wouldn't ever smoke again because I've already said to myself, if I, if I have a cigarette again, that's it. I'll never try and quit. Mm. So yeah, I'm doing good. But you're doing good too. Yeah. Anyway, people, if you liked our negative episode, it wasn't all negative. We talked about good stories to start off with. Yeah. But if you did like our episode today and you do have any views, and like I said, none of it, none of the that we talked about today is an opinion or any it's supposed to be anything negative. It's just discussing everything that's going on in the world in our own way um, but thanks for joining us and obviously Garage Man if you are listening sorry about the negative episode we do get better it does get funnier 
But thanks for joining us on another episode of Dads, Lads, and Kebabs. I could murder a kebab, though. Not even hungry, but I could eat one. Mm. Deuces. Peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>